guys, welcome back to my Thursday channel. Today I'm going to show you how to take these little flamingos from Dollar Tree and turn them into some super cute summer party decor. If you want to know how to make them, stick around. I'll show you how. Okay, I'm taking the flamingo. I'm going to go ahead and pull the metal rods out and I'm going to put some bamboo skewers in there so I can stick it into some styrofoam and paint it. And then go ahead and paint your metal rods also. I just wanted to make sure I got at least one end of them completely white to go into my um, shoes. Next, I'm going to take um, some Dollar Tree shoes, and I'm just going to cut the, a cork in half, and I'm going to glue it to each one. Now, these are the little party favor shoes. And just make sure you put them down in there where they don't show out the top of the shoe. Then I'm going to take one of these little wooden plaques from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to paint it with a chalk paint, a white chalk paint. And then I'm going to take some hot pink paint, and I'm going to paint the beak. And then I painted the inside of my shoes, but you can skip this step because I actually covered it up, covered them up with some trim. Then I went ahead and put some Mod Podge onto my shoes, and then I'm going to sprinkle a real fine pink glitter on them. Just completely cover them up. Okay, then I'm taking some black paint, and I'm just going to paint in the eyes. And then I'm going to take my little rods that came with the flamingo and I'm going to push them down into these corks. Now you don't even have to drill these. You just push, if you just twist them, you can twist them right into these corks. Okay, and then I'm just going to put a little glue inside where I put those in just to glue them in place. And then I'm going to take some trim. This is just some furry um, yarn and I'm just going to wrap it around the shoe. Just kind of glue it in and then just wrap it around a few times. I think I probably had about a five inch piece there. And just glue that in. And do the same thing with the second one. Then I'm coming back with some black paint and I'm just going to paint the bottom part of the beak. And then I'm going to take a real fine paintbrush and I'm going to paint up the sides of it. There's a little groove in there and you just paint that groove in there. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and glue my shoes to my little plaque and I'm using some E6000 glue and some hot glue just to get them to hold in place while they dry. Just I'm just putting them probably you know about a maybe a half inch apart. Okay then I'm going to go ahead and put my flamingo on top and there's a there's holes in the bottom of where those go in and then I'm going to take some um, glue some 3D um, glue dots and I'm just going to push it around the bottom of it to hold it in place. You can just glue it in if you want to, but you want to probably use some E6000 glue with your hot glue. But this just kind of held it into place pretty easy. Okay, next I'm going to take three of the little Hawaiian Lays from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to pull them, the, um, pull them apart there, cut them. And then I'm just going to glue them to one of the little flowers and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to glue the flower over the top of it. So just add a little bit of glue right there, glue that down and then push that little flower over the top of it just to hold it in place. You're going to do that to three of these. Is what It's going to take three to make this and just do the same thing to all three of them. You just want them to be separated. Then I'm just going to start at the very front. There's a, there's a hole in the front where the sticks were. That's where you want to start and just glue that in and you're just going to literally start wrapping it around and then pull it forward as you get it around there just to kind of make it thicker there and just keep going until you have all three of them. It's going to take three of them to cover this up and just kind of keep pushing them forward once you get them wrapped around there because you want to make sure it's really really full. And you just kind of glue it in as you go along. When you get it full, as you full as you want, go ahead and put some glue on some of them just to kind of keep them in place. And if you get to the end and you have some left over, just start pulling it back to the front. Okay, next I'm going to take some little feathers. I have about six of those. And I'm going to put those into the hole in the bottom there. Just kind of feather them out. So I'm just going to stack them on top of each other. And I'm going to put a rubber band around them. And then you are going to have to cut the hole a little bit bigger to get these in. 
I probably cut mine open about a little, about a half an inch bigger. All right, that one went together pretty easy. Makes a great party table piece for a summer party. I was really happy with the way this one turned out. Next one, I'm gonna take a little succulent plant and a little cup from the Dollar Tree. I'm taking a hula hoop, a 22 inch from five below. And then I'm gonna take two of the flamingos. I'm gonna paint everything in the gold paint. And then I'm gonna paint the little um, pineapple cup with a matte white paint. Go ahead and cut your hula hoop open. There's a little um, piece in the middle that holds it together. Just cut that out. And then go ahead and empty out all of the little beads that are inside. And then go ahead and start painting and paint all your pieces in the gold. Okay, then I'm going to take three of the um, styrofoam floral forms from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to glue three of these together. Then I'm going to take a little hair noodle and I'm going to just um, cut a little piece off of it. And then I'm going to put a little dowel stick inside of it. And this is what's going to um, hold it into our form. Now go ahead and put a little glue on the bottom there where you have that glued in so it stays in. Then go ahead and push it into your, into your um, hula hoop and that's what we're going to attach it with. So you're going to just cut off. You only probably need about an inch to cut, go into the side. And just kind of push it in. And then you're going to go ahead and push the hula hoop in here in a second too. So once you get both sides um, pushed in there, then we're going to go ahead and push the hula hoop hoop into there as well. So it'll probably go in about a half inch on each side and this will make it stand up straight. Okay, next I'm going to take my flamingos and I'm just going to put one on each side. Just push them on down there into the styrofoam and just I didn't glue them in yet. I'm, I don't think I'm going to glue them in because you can turn them different ways if you want to. Then one can look down, one can look straight. And then I got this um, this greenery at Michael's. It was half price. Just some little palms that I'm just going to cut these off. Probably about a maybe an inch or so from the bottom. And then I'm going to take some green ribbon and I'm just going to wrap it around the um, styrofoam forms just to kind of cover them up a little bit. It, this didn't even go all the way to the top. It's just about a two inch ribbon. And I got this a long time ago at the Dollar Tree, but you can use any kind of ribbon you want. It just helps to cover up the styrofoam so you don't have to put so much greenery. It just saves you a little bit of money on the greenery part. And next, I just started adding my little palm leaves. And you just kind of want to get a lot of them in here so it really covers up that green. I use, I use pretty much um, all but two pieces of the floral piece that I bought. Next, I'm just coming in with these white flowers. I got these at Dollar Tree. I think I bought um, five little arrangements of these. I'm just cutting them in half and just filling it in. Then I'm going to take another one, I'm cutting it in half, and then I'm going to wire it together. And I'm going to actually put this up on the corner edge, and I'll show you here in just a second on that. Just wire them completely together because we're going to wire them onto the hula hoop. And you're going to need two sections on this. So go ahead and use two pieces and wire, wire them separately together. Because we're going to have them facing each other with a little palm um, leaf in the middle of them. Okay, then we're just going to attach them at the corner edge here with the wire. And then you can come back in and put a little bit of glue on there as well just to kind of hold them in place. Just to make sure that that wire doesn't slide down. I did later put some glue on there, but I didn't show you on, on camera. And then I just wired up a little palm leaf up there. And then you can glue it down as well once you get it in place. Okay, then I came back in with some black paint and I painted the little eyes. 
This one came together pretty easy. There wasn't a lot of, of work to do with this one. I'm definitely using this as a centerpiece for one of my summer parties this year. The next one I made is uh, the pineapple. I painted one of the Dollar Tree pineapple cups and a succulent from Dollar Tree. I painted the cup white, the lid, and the pineapple top gold. And that was pretty much it. Pretty easy. Okay, for this one, you're going to take like a half inch ribbon. You're going to go ahead and cut it at like 17 inches in length. And then I'm going to attach this to a board with some little um, Dollar Tree clamps just to hold it in place while I make the tutu because I'm going to make a tutu for this little um, flamingo. Just clamp them on there then I'm going to take two different colors of a six inch tool and then I'm, I cut a um, foam core board seven inches in length and that's what I'm going to wrap this tool around. So just start at the top Get it right to the edge, and then you're just going to wrap this 30 times completely. So what, that's one full length um, wrap, and that's two. So you need to go all the way around the board to do it 30 times. And then you're going to go ahead and cut it off, and then just going to cut down one side. And this will give you all your little pieces that you need for your little tutu. And then you're going to do the same thing with the other color because we are going to alternate colors. Okay, and then that gives you both your stacks ready to start your little tutu. And we're going to do two light pinks and then two hot pinks. So you're going to take one, fold it in half, you got a little loop to put up underneath there, and then run that um, tool through that loop and just pull it real tight. And you want to push these down towards each other once you get going because you want this to be pretty full. And then we're going to come back in with the hot pink, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do two of these. We're just going to fold our ribbon in half, run that loop up underneath there, and then pull that through. And don't worry if you get your, if your um, ribbon starts to turn a little bit or anything because it really doesn't matter. Just Keep adding them until you get it as full as you want. We're going to go all the way down to the end. You just need a little bit of room left over just to tie this onto the um, flamingo. But just keep alternating until you get it as full as you want it to. Okay, then when we get to the end, we're just going to unhook it and we're going to wrap it around our flamingo. And I'm just going to paint the sticks on this flamingo a hot pink. I did the, the flamingo exactly like I did the first one. I painted it white with a pink beak, and I'm coming back in and putting the black on the bottom part. But this is exactly how you painted the first one. And you don't have to get it completely full painted white. I left a little bit of the pink where you could see through it. And then I'm going to come back in with some E6000 glue and glue my legs in, and I'm going to put some hot glue in too. This just is going to hold them in. It's not going to keep it from wiggling because those you, you don't have any support inside of these. But once you get it glued in, the legs will stay in. Okay, next I'm going to cut two corks to about a half inch each. And I'm going to put them in these little tennis shoes. I got these on Amazon and I'll give you the link for those. If you don't want to get these little tennis shoes, you can use the Dollar Tree shoes on this one as well. Just push your cork in there, glue them both in. And then we're going to go ahead and attach our flamingo. Just push your um, rods down into there. And you could go ahead and put your hole in there before you put those into the shoes. But if you're using used corks, they already have a hole where the corkscrew went through. And that, that um, little stick will go in there pretty easy. Then we're going to add a little bit of glue inside each of those little holes. We're going to glue those in and then we're going to go ahead and lace up our shoes. Okay, then we're going to come back in with some glue and we're just going to kind of squeeze that shoe shut so that you don't see that cork. Just kind of put some glue inside there and kind of just squeeze it around that little rod. Okay, next we're just going to tie the tutu around the flamingo. And there's a little hump at the bottom. If you just get it a little bit past that hump, it'll hold on real good. And then you can go back in and you can glue all this in. Just tie it off right there, right behind that hump. And then you can trim all that off and glue it in. Nothing to it. This was a pretty easy one as well. 
And these make great um, little party decors. This would be good for a baby shower. I mean, there's a lot of different things that you could use this for. Leave me a comment in the, in the comments below and let me know which one you like the best. All right, there you have it. Cute little um, flamingo. If you like the video, hit like. If you want to see future videos, hit subscribe. If you want to be notified when I have another video, hit the bell. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it.